Let's look at how to use video to introduce and practice a grammar point. Videos offer a great platform for students to see how language is used in context and to get students noticing how structures are used. They offer support and they help build confidence. Videos can be a great way to look at how language is used out in the real world through authentic, true-to-life language in situations that students find intriguing. Although it's often quite difficult to find one specifically suited to highlighting single structures. The following video is part of a teenage drama and was carefully scripted to expose students to the present perfect, while still being natural and providing a relevant context that students will identify with and find motivating. In an earlier section of the unit, students have learned food-related vocabulary, so before playing the video, the teacher reviews some food lexis. Today, we're going to watch a video, okay? and there are two people, Tomo and Alicia, and they're in a food market. So in a food market, you can buy lots of food, right? So let's see how many words you remember related to food, okay? All right, so what is this? Okay, it's a circle with? Letters. Letters, and this is? In general? The alphabet. The alphabet, very good. Can you see if there is any missing letters here? Because not all the letters are here. X, Z. X, Z, and one more? And Q. Q, very nice, very nice. Okay, so we're going to work in groups, and I'm going to give you five minutes to write as many words as you can remember, okay, starting with these letters. Okay, so for example, with A, what food can we say? Apple. Apple. What else? Avocado. Avocado. Okay, very good. The B? Broccoli. Broccoli. Very good. Okay, so this is what you have to do. You, have, you only have to write one. Okay, one word. If you have more time, you'll write more. So I'm going to give you five minutes. You have to go fast. Okay, so the group which finishes first, you raise your hand and then you win. One point. Okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Yes? Okay. You can start now. Okay, so now I want you to look uh, at your lists. And is there any kind of food that you haven't tried? Ostrich. Ostrich, okay. Umbrella fruit. Okay. <laughs> Here? Wine. You haven't tried wine. Okay, very good. Is there any strange food? Some strange food could be, for example, uh, cobra hearts, right? And also monkey brains, right? <laughs> I've tried alligator. <laughs> And fried ants. <laughs> no, it's okay. Like alligator uh, tastes tastes like chicken. Chicken, okay. And fried ants is just crunchy and juicy. You know, juice. <laughs> Would you like to try, for example, cheeseburger ice cream? No, you wouldn't. The teacher reviews the lexis from the previous lesson in a fun way and uses consciousness raising strategies to expose the students to the grammatical structures that they'll be using later. This allows for reliable recycling in an interactive and motivating way. Having the students initially focusing on the context allows them to understand what's happening without concentrating on the grammar. Okay, so now I'm going to play the video, but only 38 seconds. You're going to see lots of food, and you're going to memorize all the food you see. Okay, so for example, if you see apples, just keep apples, apples. If you see bananas, bananas, okay? So it's going to be fast. It's only 30 seconds. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay, so now I'm going to play one more minute, right? But it's going to be on mute, no sound. And you're going to work in pairs. 
So one of you is going to be student A and the other person is going to be student B. So now, who's going to be student A and who's going to be student B? Any shirts? A, B, is the side. Okay, so now, A, yeah, ready? Okay, A is going to look at the screen. Okay, and you're going to watch what's happening. B can't look at the screen, so you're going to be, you know, like that. And student A is going to tell student B what's going on in the in the video okay so you're going to explain what you see so for example there is a bird or two people speaking i don't know whatever you see you explain it to your partner but you have to include one lie something that is not true so you explain what's going on but then you say and there is an elephant for instance okay and it's not true remember you only have one minute to do that okay so you're going to explain but include one lie Everybody, yeah. So student A will look at the screen. Student B is turn them. Good. Finished? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to watch the video again. Okay, everybody. Here, the student B. You're going to see if you can spot the lie. Okay, you can see what the lie is. For example, there is no elephant, right? And a student A, you're going to try to imagine what Alicia and Tom, the two people, are saying. They are speaking, right? Yeah. So you have to imagine what they're talking about. Okay, they're in a food market. What do you think? Not now, okay? We're going to watch it again. Yes? Are you ready? Okay, good. Okay, the lie was that there was a dog and there is no dog. Here, more lies. There was a man eating an ice cream. Okay, and there's a man eating an ice cream and there's not. Okay, very good. So no. Okay, any other lies here? Eh, there wasn't Spanish food. Oh, there wasn't any Spanish food. Okay, very good. Now, student A, what do you think they're talking about? What do you think they're saying? Someone, Alicia. What they're gonna eat today. Okay, so they're talking about they're going to eat something, okay, what they're going to eat. Uh, like they saw that like that and they uh, all the chef pointed her, him, okay. in, in white suit. Maybe it was like he went inside here, so they followed him to say, well, it looks like he, looks, like he cooked good. So okay. they went there and just to see him, they say, well, I think this one can make it good. So okay, so they saw a chef and they got <coughs> later to try their food, okay, here. Um, because when they were walking, they saw the, the shop, and he was saying that it was really good, so they could try it to go inside. Okay, okay, very nice. So maybe they're talking about that. So let's see if you were correct. I'm going to play now uh, the video with sound again, and you have to focus on what they say, and also they're using um, some verbs. Okay, you have to. Yeah, so some verbal tense, okay, some verb tense. So are they using the present, the past, the future, the present perfect, the conditional? Okay, so we use one a lot. Okay, so let's see if you can, if you can see it. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> To my beef, the mash to my potato, the extra cheese on my burrito. And you're the burger in my bun, the tangle on my tongue. You're the wobbles in my jelly, my tasty number one. My mouth begins to water every time that you walk by. There's a rumble in my belly when you serve another guy. The hunger that I'm feeling, it just won't die away. Till I've gone and got myself the dish of the day. Yeah. I've never seen so much food. Oh, I smell that pizza. Yes, I've already had some. This market is great for Chinese food too. Have you ever eaten noodles? Yes, I have. Dad's cooked them at home. Tomo, look! That's Oliver Jenkins, the famous TV chef. 
Have you seen his programme? No, but I've heard it's funny. Perhaps he's brought some nice food? Well, he's just opened an ice cream shop. Let's go and see. Perhaps we can try some. Now the dish of the day, now where do I begin? Look, there's cheeseburger flavour, or chilli, or pea and mint. Ugh, he's used weird flavours. You bet. I hate peas, but cheeseburger flavour sounds okay. What about you? I haven't decided yet. What's it like? Oh, yuck! That's disgusting. Hang on, let's try another. Mmm, chilli. Now that's the best ice cream I've ever eaten. <laughs> Seen an elephant. Okay. And you, Anna? Have you ever seen an elephant? 
Has anybody seen an elephant? Um, yes, 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 yes. Pictures. Very good. Oh, oh my god. In pictures. So come well, on. in the zoo also. Okay, in the zoo. Very nice. So we're going to write three sentences starting with I've never. Two of them have to be true and one of them is false. Okay, now listen to my sentences. You have to uh, you have to tell me which one is true and which one is false. Okay? Yeah? So two of them are true. Um, I've never been in Colombia. Okay? I've never skydived. Okay? And I've never swum. Okay? okay? So two of them are true. You have never been in Colombia. Good. You have never swum. No. no. I have never uh, skydived. Sky sky yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? yeah? Good. Very nice. Now all of the preceding activities require a productive use of the video. Initially, it's used to reinforce and recycle the topic vocabulary, and then after the setting and context has been clearly established, it's used to model authentic language that is natural for students to use in a situation like this. Then the teacher conducts standard classroom activities, for example, the information gap or prediction task, using the video as a conduit for the class activities. Alicia has already eaten some pizza. When we would say this, uh, for example, it's 11 o'clock, right? And Lourdes has already eaten lunch. It's not true, right? But that's what you would say, okay? So I'm going to uh, give you some sentences or the start of a sentence. And in pairs, you're going to complete that sentence. And we're going to use a wheel. You know what a wheel is? Yeah. yeah. yeah? So let me show you. It's going to be fun. Okay, you see this wheel? So I'm going to spin the wheel, right? And you have to make a sentence in pairs. Okay. So for example, let's do one together, okay? <laughs> okay, have you tried it yet? So you have to make like a di short dialogue and then you have to include this sentence for example um, do you like noodles um, yes. Yes. yes okay have you tried it yet yes, yes. yes. Okay. so something like that okay something short yes okay so let me do it and now your pairs next one <laughs> No more. 
You can you can write eighty, okay? Or you can write fifty. Okay? Okay. Good? Really short. Present okay. perfect twice. And you're going to talk about food. So you have to include some uh, some food vocabulary. Yes? Okay. Okay, good. Come on. You can do it in care. Students often see grammar as something detached and separate from communication. It's presented as a puzzle or an intellectual challenge that doesn't have much to do with using English in real life. And remember, exposing the students to authentic content that introduces the grammar in a natural way helps support the learner and gives them motivation and encouragement to start using the structures for true communication and interaction rather than just completing grammar exercises in isolation. Introducing a set of characters in a dramatic setting helps develop an accessible platform to experience English as it's spoken in real life and makes the recycling of grammar structures more dynamic and intriguing for students. Modeling structures through natural contexts helps the students be confident in using English in typical everyday situations and through the use of video rather than audio only can actually help the students master the grammar better and achieve higher results in a fun way.